Hey y'all, welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda and it is a beautiful morning here in the Deep South. I'm sure you can hear the birds. They sound wonderful. We are planting okra from trays this morning. Now I already have some okra coming up in the ground, but these are just some backups that I had. I planted these in trays um, just because I wanted to make sure that no matter what we had some okra. It is a staple in Southern cooking. And you can also see I have some basil in here. I have already clipped the tops off of these so I could propagate those. But they're kind of mixed up because what I have been doing is once I plant something, I'm using those spare holes to plant something else. So I've got like things growing um, on top of things in my tray here. Um, these spaces that are empty, these cells that don't have any dirt, I'm probably going to put some like flower seeds in there. My marigolds did not come up, so I'm going to be planting some of those in trays here pretty soon. I like to keep those around my tomatoes to deter pests. They keep deer away, things like that, so it's very important we have those. But for today, I am planting these beautiful okra sprouts. I'll give you guys a close-up. These are beautiful. They are doing very well and they are more than big enough to transplant. Now here is some parsley in these and the basil that I mentioned. I've already taken the tops off but they already have some little leaves in between where they will grow out into a bush instead of a, a stringy thing. If you want to know more about basil I've got a video you guys can check out. But right now Sunshine and I are going to get busy planting in the garden. Yay! All right, y'all, I got my sunshine girl here with me. She is going to use this stick to poke this one out. Can you poke that? Poke, poke, poke. Uh-oh. Okay. Thank you. Pull it back out. Okay. And that plant went over here. So, um, I'm holding the camera right now, but normally I would hold my hand there so I could get this as it pops out. Now, these are much easier to take out if you let them dry. I did that last night, but then it rained and I left these outside where they have been growing and I didn't realize it was going to start sprinkling. We're not supposed to get rain until this afternoon, but it happened this morning. So these are wet again, so that makes it a little harder to get these out. If you just let these dry for a couple of hours, sometimes just overnight, you will be able to pop these out a lot easier. They won't crumble like this, but that is okay. You just don't want to damage the roots. Now you know you have healthy roots when they are white like this. White roots is healthy. If they are starting to turn brown, like if you get transplants from the store and they are brown, you don't want to buy that. You want something with healthy roots. So if you poke around on a pot, you can tell if it's going to be a healthy transplant by the color of the roots. A lot of people don't know that. So I'm going to use this one in our next hole, which we were going to put here. So these I'm placing every foot or so all the way down here. Now behind me are some that are already starting to sprout. So here, you can see the little guys that I had from seed, these just popped up yesterday. Already they have leaves. So these are doing really, really good. As it rains, they will grow more and more. Okra does need to be in warm soil, so if you do not have warm soil, if it's like still really cold at your house, you may just want to start these in little trays like I have. Otherwise, you can plant them in the ground, but it may be too cold in many parts of the country right now. So, start them in the cells. They'll be ready to go when you are.
way a lot of our soil is like this further that way is more topsoil this way is more clay that's just how this bed is you use what you got so I'm just going through here and trying to move all the clumps out of the way I've got my little babies here and I'm just doing the best I can trying to get the grass out of course we're gonna have to weed throughout the summer but you know just do the best with what you got whatever your ground is try to work with that amend as you can we'll be moving some more topsoil into this area for next season but right now I'm just trying to you know do the best I can take the clumps out that I can and hope for the best while we're over here, I'm going to go ahead and plant um, some basil just to finish out this row of squash. I've got tons of basil here. The parsley I'll probably put in pots so that I can keep a good eye on that. We'll put that by the kitchens. Um, but the rest of this basil, it just needs to be planted. We're going to have a ton of basil. That means lots of pesto, lots of, of um, dried herbs. I'm going to be drying in my sun oven probably again this year. But until then, I'm just going to pop them in the earth. Easy peasy. These are really, really white too, so they're very healthy as well. They look little, but don't underestimate these guys because basil is very resilient and it will grow in just about anything. It's one of my favorites and it's really easy to propagate. Grow a little baby. So I want to take this opportunity to tell you guys that you will probably never see Paul on camera. Many of you have asked, like, when are we going to meet him? When are we going to, like, have a video with him? That's probably not going to happen. I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys because he's just a really private person. He is actually behind the camera right now. So if there's any camera difficulties or a shot is not good, you guys fuss at him, not me. Um, he's kind of taking that over right now for me, and that makes it a lot easier for me just to focus on what I'm doing, what I'm, you know, gardening and everything. So I'm going to water this, and I'm very grateful he already watered this, so I don't have to hit that. I'm just hitting the stuff that we planted a few minutes ago. And not a lot either, because we do expect rain today, so I'm not, like, watering this as well as I probably would. Okay, y'all, I am done. I want you guys to come back tomorrow, though, because tomorrow we are going to be transplanting some corn. I planted extra in each hole so that I could make sure that it came up, and it has. So I'm going to be thinning that. I'm going to transplant to the rest of the space here, maybe some more space. Um, so you guys come back for that. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate each of you, and I'll catch you then. Bye-bye.